Hello, second grade. This is module four, lesson 14. And our objective today is I can represent subtraction with and without the decomposition when there is a three digit menu end. Okay, so here is our application problem. I want you with your shoulder partner to solve this. So you and your shoulder partner are going to um, talk about how to solve it first, and then you're going to solve it. So the total length of a red string and a purple string is 73 centimeters. The red string is 18 centimeters long. How long is the purple string? So go ahead and talk to your shoulder partner about how you would solve this and then solve it together. Okay, so how did you and your shoulder partner decide that you were going to solve this? Did you say that you were going to subtract? That's what I did. So I set it up this way. 73 minus 18. Is this how you set yours up? Now let's go ahead and figure this out. So I lined up my ones place here and I lined up my tens place. Do I need to take any tens from the seven here? Yes, I do, because I don't have enough ones here in the 73 to subtract the 8. Because I can't take 8 away from 3. So the 7 is going to give a 10 to the 3 to make it a 13. And then the 7 turns into a 6. What is 8 minus, or sorry, what is 13 minus 8? Five. And what is six minus one? Five. So the purple string was 55 centimeters long. Okay, so you and your partner go ahead and continue to do your own work now. For this part, we're going to say the number in standard form. So remember, the standard form is just the regular numbers. So here's our number, and if we say it in standard form, we're going to say it as 184. Okay, so now we need to say the number in the tens place. So which of these numbers is in the tens place? 8. Good. Now what's the value of 8? The value of 8 would be 80. What is the value of the digit 1? Did you say 100? Good job. And what is the value of the digit 4? Did you say 4? Good. Okay, so now we're going to be subtracting numbers that have 3 digits minus 2 digits. So all that means is that there's three digits or three numbers in this first number and there's going to be two digits or two numbers in this number. So how we're going to do that is we're going to set it up just like we set up the two digit numbers and we're going to line up oops, we're going to line up the ones, we're going to line up the tens, and we're going to line up the hundreds. So let's first start subtracting from right to left. So that means we need to subtract the ones place first. Do we need to add any tens to the ones place here? No, I do not because I can take 3 away from 4. What is 4 minus 3?
What is 3 minus 2? 1. Good. And then we need to bring down the 1. And our answer is 111. Here's another one. Let's set it up vertically. So we've got the 140 on top, minus 12. And I have my 1s lined up. I have my 10s lined up. And my 100s are lined up. Do we need to take any 10s from this number to add over here? Yes, we do. We cannot take 2 away from 0. So the 4 is going to give us 110 to make the 0 a 10. And the 4 is going to turn into a 3. So 10 minus 2 is what? 8. And 3 minus 1 is 2. And we just bring down the 1. And our answer is 128. Go ahead and set this one up on your own. Okay, so this is how I set it up. Let's compare. I put 121 minus 14. My 1s are lined up. My 10s are lined up. My hundreds are lined up. Check and make sure that yours looks like mine. Does yours look like mine? Great. Do I need to take any tens from the tens place here to add to the one? Yes, I do. I cannot take four away from one. So the two is going to give one of its tens to the one to make it eleven. The 2 is going to change to a 1. What is 11 minus 4? 7, good. And what is 1 minus 1? 0. And we bring down the 1. Don't forget to add this 0 in the tens place now. Because we have a um, hundreds place now. So we need to make sure that zero is in the tens place so that we know that there's no tens. So that we can say 110. Or sorry, 107. All right, here's our next one. I want you to set it up and then answer it on your own. Set it up vertically, so up and down. Okay, so now I have 161 minus 26. Did you set yours up like this? You should have your ones in a column in a row. You should have your tens lined up in a row here. And you should have your hundreds lined up. Do we need to take any tens away from the six to add to the one? Yes, we do, because we cannot take 6 away from 1. So the 6 is going to give the 1 a 10 to make it 11. And the 6 is going to turn in to 5. What is 11 minus 6? 5. And what is 5 minus 2? 3. And we bring down the 1. And our answer is 135. Is that the answer you got? You did give yourself a kiss on the brain. Good job. Let's do this one more. Go ahead and line it up. And then solve it. I'm going to tell you something. Okay, so let's compare our answers. I put 187 minus 49. I lined up my 1s, I lined up my 10s, and I lined up my 100s place here. Does the 8 need to give any 10s to the 7? Yes, it does. We cannot take 
9 away from 7. So the 8 is going to give the 7 and 1 to make it 7. And the 8 is going to turn into what number? 7. What is 17 minus 9? 8. And what is 7 minus 4? 3. And we bring down the 1. And our answer is 138. It is now your turn. You need to solve these two problems. Uh, set these up vertically, so up and down. And then you can check your results with your chips on the place value chart. When you're done, take a picture of it and see saw it to me. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.